We're in today with the GeForce GTX 645. This is a 2013 video card with uh, 576 shaders. It's got one gig of VRAM GDDR5 running at 824 megahertz on the core clock and 1000 megahertz on the memory clock. It's got 128 bits bus width and DirectX 11 support. We're going to pair it up with this uh, Intel i7 7 gen with four cores and eight threads. And we're going to jump in a couple of games and see how this whole system it's holding with this video card let's go all right let's start with uh, world of tanks the first game that i want to show you how the video card is working i got uh, 1080p here with uh, medium details that means it's a higher quality but i have to put 70 percent uh, render scale and uh, unlock it because uh, barely have uh, playable fps on medium details now if you want to properly use this video card the ideal will be to put it on low to minimal then it will swap to performance mode and it will be much better when it comes to this uh, video card that one gig of VRAM doesn't help, but I just wanted to stress it out and see if I can uh, uh, get away with it. But in this case, you can actually see on medium detail, eh, it's kind of horrible. It's got uh, maximum VRAM utilization, maximum code load. Uh, the temperature is okay. I put the fan on maximum speed, but then I'm going to take a look and see how uh, it's uh, holding. If I'm sniping and uh, I'm waiting here with this uh, computer, with this video card, you can actually see again like 90 FPS, 42 minimals. Uh, that's actually good but uh, uh, the quality you can actually see 70 percent uh, render scale at uh, its finest if it makes uh, any difference in this i think uh, going for low quality will be much better let's jump into fortnite with uh, 1080p and performance mode you can actually see it looks uh, decent you know on 100 uh, percent render scale i cannot judge the game because it looks uh, okay in this situation you can actually see it looks and it runs okay the only problem i have is uh, 13 minimals and i have some high frame time here because of that uh, uh, 60 70 fps on average it's influencing you know that that frame time in uh, this uh, case the average fps that i get with uh, this video card it's okay you know that uh, 70 fps can go down a little but uh, majority of the time i will have problems with uh, minimals and one uh, percent let's put the render scale to 60 percent very entertaining i don't feel it you know the ms is okay with this feels on 61 percent it feels very choppy you know i can see uh, it's very pixelated but it's working i got a nice fps on average you know 100 fps with eight minimals very very hard to play with this but if we're jumping in dota 2 with this uh, video card and this system you can actually see way you, 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 the fps it's <laughs> it's way below <laughs> what i was expecting i put everything on low details so i can uh, see if the gpu can hold it but uh, you can clearly see that uh, in some cases it's dropping uh, the minimals to one and that is not okay different performance were what i was expecting i mean i have the averages here but uh, the minimal or not okay wait, wait, wait. <laughs> do i like the performance here yeah i like it seriously it's one of those uh, situations in which the video card can do the job but it's bad at the same time if it makes any sense i mean you can clearly see that you got 100 fps on average that's good 11 minimals is not okay maximum uh, performance from the core you know in some cases with 0.9 gig of uh, vram uh, utilized i mean it's only one gig of VRAM utilization, you know, from uh, from the game here. And uh, in some cases, you can actually see it's got uh, nice FPS on average, you know, that's actually good. But 0.9 gig of VRAM, it's, uh, it's very hard on this uh, situation, you know, because if you intend to fight in the, in, in the game, you know, with your team, you will have a lot of problems, you know. But uh, in, sometimes it's it's okay, sometimes it's not okay, you know. So in this case, you can clearly see that uh, it's trying to do the job. But if we're jumping in uh, cross out with this uh, video card, with this system, you can actually see that uh, I got a playable FPS. I, I enable low details with uh, legacy mode in order to actually have a playable FPS. But hopefully I get uh, the right FPS. I want to jump in a couple of uh, shootouts here and i want to see how it's holding you know the system itself doesn't have any problems i can see the cpu it's not fully loaded um if i get like 80 70 fps on average it's fantastic the only thing i need it's uh, good uh, minimals and that's it if i get the good minimals then uh yeah there is nothing to complain here it's 90 fps on average 41 on minimal 9.1 gig of system that i'm utilized and the cpu it's uh, barely passing over 40 degrees on this computer it looks okay even on low details with performance mode you can actually see the gpu on maximum load 
0.8 gig of VRAM utilized and 120 watts consumption. But you can actually see in 4 light is doing a fantastic job with uh, this uh, video card and the system itself. Uh, I got very fluctuating uh, FPS all over the place, seriously, with this uh, computer and this video card. 0.9 gig of VRAM utilized from this situation, 70-80% load from the core of the video card. It's okay, you know, overall performance is great with this uh, computer and this video card. The system itself doesn't have any problems, the CPU doesn't have any problems, so in this case, I will say it's a decent overall performance. If I zoom or do something like that, you will see it low quality because I put it on low quality because I want the, the game to run uh, perfectly here. I don't want any stress. 200 FPS on uh, on a video card like this is quite decent when it comes to the age of the video card. If I need more the, from, from this, I think that the only way I can do it is by lowering the resolution, but uh, there's not lots of things I can lower in this case. Details is okay. You can actually see sometimes it's dropping to 150 FPS with 34 on minimal. It's not bad, you know, but uh, you have to take a look on that uh, situation, you know, not to get uh, lower than that. But if we're jumping in uh, PUBG with this video card and this system, you can actually see it's possible to actually do the job. It's uh, starting the game, not the best experience ever, but uh, 30, 40 FPS, 1080p, 70%. Uh, Let me show you what I have here. Disable, advance, very low with 1080p with 70% render scale. Not the greatest uh, performance ever, seriously. I have trouble having uh, playable FPS in this case with uh, this video card and the system. I mean, I know the culprit here because it's the VRAM, you know. Uh, you can't say nothing bad about this uh, system because it's trying to do the job, you know. In this case, uh, you can actually see it's 40-50% uh, load on the CPU side and uh, there is a playable FPS, but uh, not a lot of, uh, how should I say, not a lot of uh, power from this uh, video card from this uh, GTX uh, 645, you know. If I'm going in uh, Cyberpunk with this video card, it's gonna be very horrible. <laughs> I got uh, 18 FPS on average. Uh, look at the frame time 60 ms i mean come on you, you can expect i for just for the gimmick you know for just for the memes you know i entered the game and i want to see how it's working so six, 645 it's kind of horrible in this situation uh, the code is maxed out not the vram imagine that saying that you know 0.8 gig of vram only and uh, you can actually see it's uh, it's kind of hard on the video card it's kind of hard on the game you know it's not working really nice this uh, 128 bits bus with uh, uh, gpu apparently cannot uh, push uh, this game to its uh, designated fps you know those uh, playable fps the problem is i cannot use fidelity fx if i have fidelity fx some upscaling i will have had uh, an opportunity to play this game but uh, it's lacking with 15 fps if we're jumping in gta 5 with this uh, system with this video card you can actually see in the garage i got like uh, 30 40 fps with uh, this uh, video card maximum uh, load on the gpu with 0.9 gig of vram utilized it's on 1080p with normal details you know so i can do more uh 100 render scale so i didn't put uh, i didn't modify the upscale but there is a chance if i want to increase the minimal i think that would be ideal and in this case i got like nearly 130 watts and it's a good performance i like it you know i think that if i get out from the garage i will have playable fps i was expecting like that you know around 50 fps in this uh, case with this uh, video card and this uh, computer i like it nearly 12 gig of uh, system ram being utilized with 50 percent load on the CPU and uh, it's a good performance overall. It's not bad, you know, for this uh, video card that it's kind of old, you know, but uh, in this case, the CPU has no problem. It's giving me nearly playable uh, minimals, but uh, those minimals are influenced by the video card, not by the CPU. But if we're jumping in Counter-Strike with this uh, system and this GPU, this is what you're going to get with this GTX uh, 645. The core on the video card doesn't help you. 50 FPS uh, with this video card <laughs> and that's it the system itself doesn't have any problems so if you're interested on actually playing with this uh, type of computer this type of cpu you can actually see it using 40 percent on the cpu and uh, there is no stress under 50 degrees so the cpu is kind of good with uh, one fan uh, 120 millimeter fan io you can actually see the temperature is kind of good in counter-strike the only thing this video card is offering is efficiency that is under uh, 150 watts 140 
if I'm not mistaken. If you do want to put this video card on a display port, I think you have to lower the resolution and then you will end up with uh, better performance. Do I like the video card? I like it because it's a um, one slot unit video card and it doesn't require external power supply this is the reason i like this video card i like it because it's very efficient what i don't like about this is that uh, i can get a quadro k 2000 series and i will get uh, better performance from that video card and more vram and that will be a more efficient video card overall this one slot unit from 600 series it's okay but uh, i get problems with this you know because uh, of that vram amount and and that 128 bits bus width plus on top of it this video card it's x8 you know it's not x16 on the pci express slot it's got one two three pads one are missing it's like there is a gap in between those uh, pins don't want to recommend it because it's not very powerful now considering this video card is an om that i have here today i think it's good if you find the computer cheap with this video card now if you came with this video card I won't say nothing, you know, because maybe that computer was cheap. And if you had a, uh, a graphics card like this for free, then it's good. You know, if you got it for super dirty, cheap money, fantastic, because it's a good video card to have as a spare one or using an old computer that requires one slot unit or no external power supply on the video card, you know it's ideal you know i think this video card will work much better if i put it in an old machine with older games because there uh, this uh, video card will be much better with 800 megahertz on the core clock you know one gig of vram doesn't help it you know <laughs> nowadays one gig of vram even now you need at least two gig even for DirectX 11. that's it it's, this is the only thing I can say about this video card. But if you do have any suggestion for this video card or for this system, leave a comment and I will see you very soon.